Hey guys, welcome to another SMU tutorial. My name is SMU and I'm going to show you how to set up audio link in your project with my audio wave shader. So, let's get to it. You're going to need my SMU brush audio link edition audio wave shader and Leah Lu's VRC audio link that you could get from GitHub. So, I've already downloaded them downloaded them for this tutorial and I'm going to show you how to put this together right now. So once you've extracted audio link you want to drag the master folder into the assets folder of your project. Do, 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 do. That was quick. So here you have audio link master and it's important that you do this in the right order so you want audio link before the audio wave package right so audio wave references audio link based on the assets forward slash VRC audio uh, udon audio link master folder so you don't want to put this audio link folder anywhere else it should stay in the assets folder and this audio wave can exist anywhere but let's just put it in the assets folder bada boom Bada bing. Alright, so once Audio Wave is in there, what you could do is actually click on the material. Um, nothing's missing. It's going to show up. It's saying that there's a shader error. Um, that it can't open the source file. So it goes assets, audio link, shaders, audio link, CG Inc. Okay, let's check this out. Okay, what you, you might want to do is take this audio link, drag it out. Let's just compile this. And just wait. Okay, so actually, when you in... It is very important. So like when you get audio link master folder out, well, you want to drag the audio link folder outside of it. Because that's how the code is referencing audio link from the audio wave folder. So it's not going to break audio link if you drag audio link out of the master folder. Just have it out and then that error should go away. No problem there. So that's how you get it to work, right? So let's click on this pen manager and let's replace the material with the audio wave material, right? So let's take this out. Bong. Bing. Cool. Now we're going to need some music. So I'm just going to drop in an audio component, audio source and take that audio clip, right? So I already have an audio clip here, which is the Chocolate Lemon. This is the song that plays in my Smew Brush world. One of the songs, right? So, actually, what you wanna do is now take the audio link prefab and drag it into your scene. So let's go to, we're going to have to look for this for a second. Okay, it's the first one. It's the audio link prefab asset. Take this bad boy, drag and drop it into your scene. Have it selected. Ooh, my tummy's grumbling. And it's going to require an audio source. Right. I would take the audio source that was created here right drag and drop that into the excuse me over here into the udon behavior audio link script bong all right so then at that point you have hooked up link all sound reactive objects to this audio link yeah for sure 
All right, not sure if that did anything, but go ahead and save. Um, so I can build and test and show you how it goes. Ready? So this is how we, how we do it. Here goes nothing. Drum roll, please. So yeah, if you like this tutorial, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I'm starting to make more educational VR chat content and with the prefabs that I'm releasing, I'll come out with some more tutorials. If you're um, comfortable with changing the code, you can change the, the code of AudioWave to have it reference AudioLink however you want. So the only caveat is you want to take AudioLink and drag it out of the master folder so that AudioWave can reference it properly. Okay, capiche? Hmm, just gonna drink some water. How's it going? Oh, there you go, that's the world song. Ready? Pick up this pen. Yeah.